maximum and turn Alondra into a level 20 bard. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna go through the process of leveling up your character. Oops, I see I erased medicine. <laughs> but taking your character and leveling it up to level 20, the cap that TNT5 E goes to. If you're interested, you can go check the video, uh, which will be right here, where I created Alondra. If you're interested to know her backstory, we're gonna reference it a bit during this video. It's gonna guide some of our choices, so if you don't know uh, the story we created around this character, I recommend you go check it out first. But from here, we have, well, pretty much our whole character. All we have to do is go through the level ups one by one until we get to level 20. So, let's jump into it. First, at level 2, we get uh, one more known spell and one more uh, spell slot. So, if I remember correctly, I already chose some uh, spells for Alondra last time. I think uh, we can... I think I can remember them off the top of my head. Uh, we already chose the cantrips, so I think that was mm, friends and prestidigitation. Not quite sure. Maybe Vicious Mockery and Prestidigitation. Uh, let's see. Is that what I would like to go for now? Plate Ward is not interesting. Dancing Lights, not really. We have Dark Vision. Uh, Friends is more interesting. Liked, not really. Mage Hand, not really. Mending, nah. Message, nah. Minor Illusion is not prestidigitation, does fit into the persona we created for Elandra. This bigger than nature, uh, uh, with a small legend associated to her. Uh, so, prestidigitation, probably. Thunderclap, not really. True Strike, absolutely not. And Vicious Mockery, I think. Vicious Mockery does fit in that uh, character of a very serious soldier who can uh, kind of demoralize you simply by addressing you. So that's gonna be the cantrips, uh, prestidigitation and vicious mockery. Let's go for that. So we have five spells, uh, five number one spells we know at level two. So, if I remember correctly, we had Charm Person, we had Command. Uh, I'm not sure I took Cure Wounds, it, it's interesting, but I don't know. We had Heroism, yeah, I think we took Heroism to have a little bit more support, uh, even if we didn't have Cure Wounds. And what else, what else? Let's see. Last time we took Charm Person Command. Uh, I'm having some trouble remembering what we took the last time. Last time, last time, last time. I made the character what I thought would fit well. I remember those th three. The Jumpers and Command and Heroism. But there was a fourth I could choose. And right now I do not remember what it was. 
so I, j I feel like I should just go with the two more spells I should choose today and that's gonna be good I'm gonna take healing word I think it's a go-to for bards uh, it's pretty much one of the best spells in the game because it's a bonus action and healing uh, from a distance just wonderful I'm gonna take healing word and one last
So investigation, that becomes plus one, that becomes zero, and this plus one. These three stay the same, and at the end, these four plus one, plus two, plus two, and zero. That's not bad, it's not bad at all. Uh, we also get Song of Rest, Song of Rest, 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 Song of Rest, which will allow us short rest so if uh, any of our party uh, member uh, regains hit points through uh, hit dice they add 1d6 extra uh, hit points regain for each hit dice spent so in my case instead of regaining 1d8 plus 2 uh, for each hit dice during a short rest, I would regain 1d8 plus 1d6 plus 2 hit points, which is pretty cool, uh, a pretty nice ability to have. And I really like the idea of a bar just playing some music, uh, simply having a loot out during the short rest and making it a fun, enjoyable moment uh, for everyone so that's pretty neat uh, then there is an optional ability at level 2 which is magical inspiration let's go check that out I have never played with that uh, optional rule so let's check at second level second level second if a creature has a bardic inspiration dive from you and casts a spell that restores hit points or deals damage, the creature can roll that die and choose a target affected by the spell. Add the number rolled as a bonus to the hit points regained or the damage dealt. The Bardic Inspiration die is then lost. I kind of like that idea. It's something that uh, already applies, or e more easily applies, I think, to um, um, fighters. Uh, the the non-spellcaster characters, they can use the Bardic Inspiration more, I think. Uh, it's much easier for them to um, have access to add it to the damage or uh, to attack rolls. Uh, but here it, it makes it a little bit easier for a spellcaster to use it. So I kind of like that optional rule, so I'm gonna write it down here. Magical Inspiration That's pretty neat. And at level 2 we gain 1d8 or 5 uh, hit points plus constitution modifier. Do I have a d8 nearby? I'm gonna check that. It should 
much thank you uh, I'm willing to give that up to luck so let's check well that's a good start already that's a seven so at level two we gain nine additional hit points we go up to 19 which is pretty nice to have and we also get an additional hit dice. I'm just gonna write 20 D8 already because, well, it's no use really waiting for a level 20 and <laughs> um, going up every time. I know we're gonna get to level 20, so I'll just write it down right here. I'll keep this here. It's gonna become in handy every level. Uh, so, I think that's uh, pretty much it for level 2. At level 3, uh, yes, at level 3 we get uh, an additional spell known and we get our second level spells. So, let's check what second level spell we would like and if we potentially want to switch one of our level 1 spells for a level 2 I think Comprehend Languages might get switched out here we'll see so we've got Aid, Animal, Messenger, Blindness or Deafness Borrow Knowledge, Calm Emotions Calm Emotions, Strong Contender, Having a, a big bulky half orc come in and say, hey, calm down. Feels like a pretty good motivation to calm down, <laughs> in my opinion. So, calm emotions, strong contender, cloud of daggers, crown of madness, detect thoughts, enhance ability, enlarge, reduce, enthrall. What does that do again? I'm kind of uh, interested to see we weave a distracting string of words causing creatures of your choice that you can see within range and that can hear you to make a wisdom saving throw any creature that cannot be charmed succeeds automatically uh, and if you are fighting a creature it has advantage on the save on a failed save, the target has disadvantage on wisdom, uh, perception, and checks made to perceive any creature other than you until the spell ends or until the target can no longer see you. Man, it's not really interesting, is it? Especially for a party, I feel like we have many non-magical ways to create a distraction. So, not interesting. There is Gift of Gab, Heat Metal, Hold Person, Invisibility, Kinetic Jolt. That sounds pretty nice. Don't you think it has a ring to it? Kinetic Jolt, Kinetic Jolt, Kinetic Jolt, Kinetic Jolt, Kinetic Jolt. <laughs> Just sounds nice. <laughs> Knock, Lesser Restoration, Locate Animals or Plant, Locate Object. Magic Mouth, Mirror Image, Nathar's Mischief, Phantasmal Force, Pyrotechnics, Invisibility, Shatter, Silence, Skyride, Spray of Cards, Suggestions, Warding Wind, and Zone of Truth. Suggestion, definitely another strong contender here. I think I would take a suggestion here and maybe next level we can take uh, the calm emotions which I am quite, quite fond of uh, still uh, because we do get to know an additional spell next level so I think that's not a bad plan and that makes it so we don't uh, we don't, uh, I don't know, move around our spells too much, if that makes sense. Like if I remove Comprehend Language and then next level I put it back, just feels like eh, it's a bit messy. So I'm gonna take just 
suggestion at this level and that would be our second level spell uh, we also get uh, our bard college and expertise so let's just go through expertise first uh, we choose two skill proficiencies and our proficiency bonus is doubled for ability checks using that uh, uh, well using that proficiency um, so what do I want to be really good at is the question here persuasion might be very interesting Maybe perception. We don't have a big bonus for it, and I feel like as a soldier, you really want to be pretty good at perceiving and uh, standing guard, you know. So I think we're gonna go for persuasion. So that goes up to six. And perception, which goes up to three. That's expertise for you. And I'm gonna write two because uh, as we level up we'll get more uh, expertise. Uh, so that's for our expertise. Next we choose our Bard College. And I've been thinking about this already and one seems to clearly fit Elantra's background and that is College of Valor which you probably expected uh, if you saw the previous video I think it fits just very intuitively uh, with Elantra's background what she does uh, how she acts and who she is uh, the College of Valor uh, keeps alive the memory of great heroes of the past and thereby inspire a new generation of heroes and just with her with her presence that's what she does she is a beacon of hope of heroism and she inspires the ones around her to achieve the greatness she herself is striving for so the Bard College of Valor uh, seems to fit just very well. At level 3 we gain uh, bonus proficiencies with medium armor, shields and martial weapons. So uh, here I'm gonna just uh, say eventually uh, Elantra would probably uh, strive to get or try to get a um, breastplate as it's a medium armor uh, and it's a pretty good upgrade she would really make uh, use of in my mind she would definitely also get a shield and uh, I think she would keep the long sword just one-handed though so 1d8 that stays like that but uh, as I don't know when or how she would get it but I do know that's what I would get for Elantra I will be adding right now a shield and a breastplate Plus dex, 15. 
plus the shield, that's 17. Which, you know, is pretty good. <laughs> so. That's pretty good for now. Again, I don't know if at level 3 she would get it immediately, but eventually she will. So, I just switch it right now so I don't forget. Okay, that's pretty nice. Uh, then at level 3, uh, we also get Combat Inspiration. Combat. Inspiration. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay. So at level three, you inspire to uh, you learn to inspire others in battle. A creature that has a bardic inspiration die from you can roll that die and add the number roll to a weapon damage roll. It just might. So what I was talking about uh, previously, it's kind of the uh, counterpart of Magic Inspiration. Uh, it allows your uh, non-spellcasters to add it to their damage rolls, basically. Alternatively, when an attack roll is made against the creature, it can use its reaction to roll the Bardic Inspiration die and add the number rolled to its AC against that attack. After seeing the roll, but before knowing whether it hits or misses. So, pretty good um, ability that has defensive and offensive uses. Uh, that makes the inspiration just really worth it, in my opinion. Uh, it's much its basic form is kind of meh. It, it, it can be useful, especially if you know you're gonna have like an ability check which you need a little boost on. It's fine, but in combat, this really makes it uh, much nicer to have because it gives a very nice defensive ability and a very nice damage boost to uh, for your. Uh, non-spellcasters uh, party members so I really like uh, the combat inspiration ability I think it's really worth it at level 3 so that's pretty much it for level 3 uh, since we have our college we did take the expertise and we chose our spell our second level spell so all we have to do now is roll I'm gonna re-roll once. That's the that's a rule I I'm gonna put on. I I re-roll only once uh, because while well, getting a one is a bummer. Let's be real. So I'm gonna allow myself just to re-roll once. That's okay. That's a four plus two is six. So that's twenty-five at level 3 oh, 25, not 21 <laughs> okay and with that we're done with level 3 we get to level 4 so we learn an additional cantrip so uh, let's check what our options are uh, for so we did not take friends yet but I think it might be something uh, that could be useful and that could work with the um, with this aspect of she influences people that's what she does uh, that's how Elandra gets her power so maybe being able to be friendly or to be um, well perceived by uh, the people she talks with uh, could be a great ability for her so I think we're gonna go for that uh, 
So that's our additional cantrip. We also have an additional spell. We're going to go for calm emotions here. That's what we planned. That's what I'm still going for. I like the idea of uh, calm emotion, uh, really. So, let's see. We also get an ability score improvement. So here, that's pretty important for us because our charisma up until now was pretty lackluster for a part. So we're gonna put one point in there, bringing our modifier to plus three. And we're gonna also add one point to dexterity, bringing that to plus two. That increases our initiative to plus three as well our, as our armor class to 18. Very decent, I think. That also means our proficiencies for saving throws and skills are changed, so that becomes plus four, this plus five. And we have to change all of those. <laughs> that are linked to dex or charisma, so that's plus three, I think, with our check of all trades, that's two dex plus one, yeah, plus three. This doesn't change, this doesn't change, this, this, okay, deception becomes plus four. doesn't change. Wisdom Charisma up there. Oops. It's a plus five. This stays a plus one. Doesn't change, doesn't change. Okay, this does change. That's 
pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Okay. That's it for our level 4. Let's check level 5. At level 5 we get... Uh, we increase our Bardic Inspiration ties to a D8 instead of a D6. So, that's very nice. Uh, we also get front of inspiration uh, at level 5 you, regra you regain all your expected uses of part inspiration when you finish a short or a long rest so now we regain our bardic inspirations on short rests which is pretty cool font of inspiration that's pretty nice that's pretty nice so those are the two abilities for level 5 we uh, increase our proficiency bonus to, uh, to plus 3 so once again <laughs> becomes plus five and this becomes plus seven no plus six whoops <laughs> almost made a mistake here so plus five plus six yeah makes sense uh, it does not change everything that's affected by jack of all trades because we round it down. But all of these that we are proficient with do change. Oh, whoops. That's, okay. So athletics is now plus five. Deception stays plus uh, three, plus four. Yeah, plus four. Okay. Next, insight and intimidation. That becomes uh, plus two. And this becomes plus six. Yeah. And then these three. Perception and persuasion are expertise too. Should there we go? I'm gonna make another dot next to it so I remember. <laughs> I think I would. Uh, I would just remember it, but just to make sure. So perception becomes plus five because it's a minus one in wisdom. Yep, that makes sense. Performance becomes plus six and persuasion plus nine. Yeah, dang, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. All right, so that's our proficiency bonus that increases. We have Bardic Inspiration T8s now, Font of Inspiration, that's good. And we learn a level 3 spell if we want. Uh, well, we have access to level 3, so we're gonna probably want at least one uh, of those. So, let's check our level 3 uh, spells. What do we have? Antagonize. That's weird. I don't know what that is. Is this new? Ah, Book of Many Things. It's pretty new. You whisper magical words that antagonize one creature of your choice. The target must make a wisdom saving throw on a fail save. The target takes 4d4 psychic damage. 
and must immediately use its reaction to make a melee attack against another creature of your choice that you can see. If the target cannot make this attack, the target instead has disadvantage on the next attack roll it makes before the start of your next turn. On a successful save, the target takes half as much damage only. That's interesting. I don't think I would uh, take that, but it's interesting. Next we have Bestokers, no, Catnap, not really. Clairvoyance, no, Dispel Magic. Not really in the theme of Elandra. Enemies abound. Enemies abound. What does it do again? Uh, the target loses the ability to distinguish friend from foe, regarding all creatures it can see as enemies. Not really in the style of, of Elantra either, so I'm gonna say no to this one. Fast friends, meh. Fear, possibly. Like, I'd be afraid of Elantra. <laughs> so, fear could be one. Thing, death, no. Nah. Cliff of Warding, no. Nah. House of Cards, Hypnotic Pattern, Intellect Fortress, not really. Tiny Hut, no. Major him Image, no, not really. Mass Healing, no. Motivational Speech. Well, let's check that, that could be one. Choose up to five creatures within range that can hear you for the duration each affected creature. Gains five temporary hit points and has advantage on wisdom saving throws. If an affected creature is hit by an attack, it has advantage on the neck attack rolls it makes. Oh, interesting. Once an affected creature loses the temporary hit points granted by the spell, the spell ends for that creature. Well, well, well. It's a bit kind of of it's it's similar to the aid spell at level two but it takes one minute to cast and lasts for an hour i find it hard to uh, justify taking that spell it's it's really it fits really well with the theme of Alondra, and I really can see Alondra making motivational speeches, but the effects are not great, honestly. Uh, it does give you advantage on wisdom saving throws, which is a, an in addition to the effects of aid, and uh, it gives you advantage when you get hit but you lose the advantage on wisdom saving throw when you lose the temporary hit points so let's imagine you have to make a wisdom saving throw against an effect that deals damage to you if it's a high enough level spell, it's probably going to deal half damage, which means it would have to deal only 10 damage, reduced to 5 to make it so you get only advantage on the saving throw once. That's not really good, right? So, I don't know, it seems. It seems a bit lackluster, not gonna lie. I'll keep it in mind. Uh, other options are non-detection, plant growth, sending. Sending is always nice. Slow, speak with it, speak with plants, stinking cloud, and tongues. Here are... I think fear would be my first choice and I'm gonna keep thinking about what else I would want as a level 3.
Mary spell. I might end up taking motivational speech, but I'm not quite sure about that. Uh, but that's gonna be... Uh, for now, we're gonna take fear. That's gonna be our level 5 uh, new known spell. Uh, and I think that's everything for level 5. We got our proficiency bonus. We have our new spell, our bardic inspiration and font of inspiration. So all we have to do now is roll 4 hit points. That's a 1. I'm gonna re-roll. That's pretty... No, that's... It was cocked on the paper. Let's see. Okay, that's good. That's a 4. Plus... So four plus two six, we go up to thirty-eight, and I think at this point we have the same amount of hit points we would have if we used um, the uh, flat uh, hit point method. Method. So that's all right. We had a little bit more health for a while at lower levels, which is appreciable, but uh, I do think over 20 levels we're gonna get pretty much the same uh, the same result. Now, especially if we re-roll once, uh, we should uh, have the same average as the flat uh, the flat hit points uh, gained, so should uh, be pretty much the same. Okay, next. Level 6. Okay, at level 6 we get Counter Charm, one of the most uh, hated abilities of the Bard, I do believe. Let me know in the comments what you think of Counter Charm if you've ever played a Bard of level 6 or higher. Did you find any use to it? Because a lot of people I know tell me they just cannot justify using it in pretty much any situation. So, counter charm. Uh, you gain the ability to use musical notes or words of power to disrupt mind influencing effects as an action. You can start a performance that lasts until the end of your next turn. During that time, you and any friendly creature within 30 feet of you have advantage on saving throws against being frightened or charmed. Uh, they must be able to hear you uh, to gain the benefit. Uh, the, uh, the performance ends early if you are incapacitated silence or if you voluntarily end it but you know it takes an action it lasts for pretty much a turn like once you, once you take your action it there's n not much more like you do on your turn so it, it lasts for a round it gives advantage it does not like prevents you or make make you on uh, like it, it does not make you immune to charm or being frightened so counter charm I think is rightfully one of the uh, least appreciated um, abilities of the part but you know we do get the ability so we'll write it down <laughs> we also get an extra attack <laughs> which I'm not sure uh, how much use Alondra would make of it like I think she's much as she as she levels up her bard abilities become much more uh, influential and impactful than her soldier abilities but you know an extra attack Whoa. sorry <laughs> an extra attack is always useful to have in your uh, pocket, you know. Extra 
attack. Great. So at level six, those are the abilities we get, I believe. Counter Charm, Bard College, yeah. That's all. So we learn a new spell. And I'm really not convinced by motivational speech. I think slow, even if it's not quite as uh, fitting the theme of Elantra up until now. I think slow is pretty interesting and I think as she learns to control these power, this influence over magic that she has through her her uh, person itself, her influence. Well, I think she will learn probably a little bit more about the arcane and how to use the weave. So I think she could start slowly getting to turn more into a spellcaster uh, fully and learn to yeah, develop her arcane abilities and branch out a little bit. And slow would be a first spell in that vein that cannot be completely explained by her presence, that cannot be just flavored as her being so inspirational, but that really veers into the truly arcane. So I think I will go for slow uh, for our level 6 spell. Yeah, that makes sense to me. And that does it for level 6. So let's roll 8, oh, sorry, 8 hit points plus 2. So 48. Now that's pretty nice. 48. All right. So that's our level 6 Alondra. Uh, so let's check. Level 7 seems pretty easy. We only get a new level 4 spell. So let's go through the uh, part spell list for level 4 and that's gonna be it. Oh, and there's not as many so a quick one. So we have Charm Monster, Compulsion. That's interesting. What is Compulsion? Uh, creatures of your choice that you can see within range and can hear you must make a Wisdom saving throw. A target automatically succeeds if it can be charmed. On a failed save, a target is affected by this spell. Until the spell ends, you can use a bonus action. That's interesting. A bonus action on each of your turn to designate a direction that is horizontal to you. Each affected target must use as much of its movement as possible to move in that direction on its next turn. <laughs> I like that. It can take its action before it moves. Okay. After moving in this way, it can make another wisdom saving throw to try to end the effect. Uh, a target isn't compelled to move into an obviously deadly hazard such as a fire pit, but it will provoke opportunity attacks to move in the designated direction. Interesting. must use as much of its movement as possible. So that seems very useful against a... Um, against enemies that use melee attacks because even if they use their actions uh, before they move, they cannot move towards you. 
like if if you decide to do so they cannot use their movement to come towards you so if you have a crew of uh, long-ranged uh, attackers or if you have mobile characters that could get to your enemies do some quick attacks then move out of their range uh, you know that's I can see some usage for this spell pretty interesting I'll keep it in mind I think it might be uh, at some point maybe not this level but at some point as well Elandra would go for okay what else we have we have confusion dimension door ego whip <laughs> freedom of movement greater invisibility I'll hallucinatory terrain locate creature phantasmal killer polymorph okay so at this at this point I think we get into a level where we really don't have a choice to go into the more arcane because except compulsion that could be seen as somewhat like driving uh, people around using your presence to uh, make people move around I feel like there's not many other spells that could be explained simply like flavored simply as Elantra's presence so I think shifting toward her controlling her arcane abilities here makes a lot of sense uh, so we're gonna probably go towards that a little bit this being said I feel like compulsion is a great choice and I think it fits pretty well with the uh, crowd control uh, abilities that Delandra has a lot of because of her presence because she can move people around uh, so I think at level 7 at least we're gonna go for compulsion and then maybe something a little bit more arcane uh, at level 8 so that's it for level 7 we just roll now 4 plus 2 6 so we're at 54 hit points now 54 54 all right okay uh, at level 8 at level 8 we get an ability score improvement here I think I'm just gonna add to my uh, charisma because it's the main ability of uh, bards let's be real although Elondra can use like her strength to fight uh, like to be in the thick of battle I think her charisma is still her best um, I don't know trait or uh, her best attribute so that's now a plus four that becomes plus seven and deception plus five. Oh boy just gonna do this and I'll put the history back uh, history which is plus one okay charisma intimidation goes up to seven it's not bad that's not bad plus seven investigation stays like that and performance and persuasion which is also plus seven This is plus 10 now, yeah. All right, that's pretty nice, that's pretty nice. Uh, we can use Bartek for 
versatility because we get an ability score improvement but uh, I don't feel it's necessary as like I said I'm making the whole sheet right now <laughs> so I don't really have any change of hearts yet okay next 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 at level 8 uh, we get an additional spell so we're gonna take an additional level 4 spell and let's check what we want now charm monster could be interesting could really uh, work in a little bit of the same way of well now I can become friends with more than just humanoids there's a strong case to be made for that I think uh, Dimension Door is just one of my all-time favorite spells. I love Dimension Door. I love being able to teleport. So maybe I'll just fall for it <laughs> and take Dimension Door. Uh, otherwise, Polymorph, a great spell. Not sure it would be in Alondra's interest, though, <laughs> to be able to Polymorph people. Yeah. I don't think so. We're gonna go for a charm monster here. And I'm pretty happy with that. That's gonna be our level 8 spell. So uh, that does it for level 8. We roll 4 hit points. 7. Nice. So plus 9. That's 63. 63. 6. Okay, we go to level 9 now, so our Song of Rest becomes a D8, and we get proficiency bonus us of plus 4. That changes a lot of things, so I'm just gonna probably redo all of our skills. Oops, that's a plus 4. Uh, yeah, I think I'm just gonna redo everything because well, I'm gonna try to leave just the proficiencies in, but all the numbers I'm gonna redo because, well, I have to redo them all anyway, so. <laughs> okay. Okay, so acrobatics plus two, plus two. That becomes a plus four. Oops. Animal handling. Uh, minus one, plus two. So plus one. Arcana, zero, plus two. Athletics, two, plus four. So plus six. Deception plus six. History plus two. Insight, 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 insight. Uh, that's minus one plus four, so plus three. Yep. Intimidation plus four and plus four, so plus eight. That's not a pretty eight. Plus eight, okay. Investigation, plus two. Medicine, uh, minus one, plus two, so plus one. Nature, plus two. Perception, okay, so eight, minus one, plus seven. Performance plus uh, plus eight. Persuasion, oh boy. Eight plus four, twelve. Plus twelve, oh boy. That's getting high. <laughs> That's getting pretty, pretty high. Religion plus two. Slide of hand plus four. Plus four and plus one. Alright. 
That's pretty good. Here are saving throws. Might be good. 
uh, I would quite like to be able to incite people uh, better and athletics I think would fit well with the still soldier-ish uh, <laughs> uh, abilities of Elantra. So that's what we're gonna go for. Athletics and insight. Which are now, we are now experts in. So athletics, two plus eight, that's a ten now. And inside eight minus one, that's a seven. All right, all right, all right, that's not too bad, that's not too bad. So after that, that's our expertise. At level 10, we get Magical Secrets, ooh, that's nice. So, by level 10, you have plundered magical knowledge from a wide spectrum of disciplines. Choose two spells from any classes, including this one. A spell you choose must be of a level you can cast, as shown on the part table, or a cantrip. The chosen spell uh, count as part spells for you and are included in the number in the spells known column of the bard table. Uh, we'll have two additional spells uh, in that way at level 14 and 18. But now that's pretty interesting. We can uh, choose two spells from any classes and you know what I don't think I have time to go through every uh, class spell list right now so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ask you let me know in the comments what spells you think Alondra would take from another class. What spells do you think that really fits Alondra or I think she could really benefit from that spell? Let me know in the comments. You can choose, well, up to six uh, spells from other um, classes. Uh, you can choose like um, at level 18, we would know uh, level 9 spells. Yep. So, uh, you can choose up to 2 level 9 spells to level uh, 7, I think. Yeah. 2 level 7 spells and 2 level 5 uh, spells or lower every time and let me know what you think would fit best for Elantra if she had access to any spell in the game <laughs> and I'm quite curious to know what uh, you think about that okay but for now we won't uh, I won't really know what spell she would have but she does get two additional spells in that way, and I think that's pretty cool. Uh, but with that, that would be our level 10. We have our expertise, our magical secrets. You let me know. Oh, we do get one cantrip. <laughs> uh, and I think cantrips I would uh, just in part spell list. But let me know if there is a cantrip you think would uh, be really cool for this Bard, uh, half orc soldier character uh, from another spell list, and maybe that's something I'm gonna consider. But here, I think we have pretty much the uh, most interesting cantrips for this character, so I think I would go for Mending. It's a nice spell uh, to have on hand, really useful in many scenarios, so. I'm gonna go for Mending, and with that our level 10 is done, let's see, our hit points, 
That's a one. That's a seven. Much better. <laughs> We're rolling pretty well for hit points here. Pretty happy about that. So 79. 79. All right. So let's go to level 11, which will be pretty quick because we only get a level 6 spell. That's all we have to choose. So let's check level 6 pretty, pretty uh, short spell list now. I bite, find the path, cards and wards, heroes feast, mass suggestion. Auto's irresistible dance, programmed illusion, and true singing. Here, the choice is pretty simple. Mass suggestion all the way for this character. That's just pretty much a given in my head for Elandra. Uh, Auto's irresistible dance, very funny. Maybe next level, but for now, mass suggestion. Uh, that's gonna be it. So that's already our level 11. Uh, let's check our hit points. That's cocked. That's a 2. Okay. So plus 2. That's... We get to 83. It was about time we rolled a lower number. Uh, hadn't rolled a 2 or a 3 yet. So a little bit of balance. It's not too bad. Not too bad. Let's jump into level 12 really quickly. We get an ability score improvement. We're gonna go once again into charisma. We're gonna max it out at 20. So, whoops. 20. And get our plus 5 modifier finally. So, that becomes 9. Uh, next we have Deception, goes up to 7, History stays plus 2, uh, we have Intimidation, goes up to 9, we have, we have, we have Performance and Persuasion, goes up to nice 9 and 13, respectively. So 9 and 13, that's pretty good, that's pretty good. Okay, ability score improvement. And an additional, no, no additional spell this level actually. Okay, interesting. So, I am good with my suggestion, I'm quite happy I took that one. And seeing how we don't have an additional spell right now. I'm quite glad with that. So that's level 12. Let's roll hit points. Oh. 6. Okay, so plus 8. We're at 91. Oh, we could possibly get a 100 next level. That's exciting. Not quite sure I would because I would need a 7 on the dice or an 8, but. It's possible now. <laughs> okay. So that was our level uh, 12. Yeah, ability score improvement. That was level 12. Uh, next, level 13. First, proficiency bonus increase. Plus 5. 5. Oh boy. I'm gonna do that again. Start over, start over. <laughs> Plus five. Okay, so this becomes seven. That becomes a ten. Incredible. And okay, so let's just. Athletics becomes plus 12. Deception stays plus 7. Okay. History stays plus 2. That's 
that doesn't change. Okay, here we have insight and intimidation. Insight and intimidation. So insight becomes plus nine. That's getting pretty good. Intimidation becomes plus ten. Yep. Okay. And here these three abilities. Okay. Perception becomes plus nine. Performance become plus ten. And persuasion <laughs> because it's plus fifteen. Absolutely insane persuasion at this point. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Uh, as for abilities, our Song of Rest now uh, offers D10s instead. Uh, we learn one more spell and we have access to level 7. So let's go check that. Oh, a little bit more spells in level 7. Let's uh, check. Dream of the Blue Veil, Etherealness, Force Cage. Mirage, Arcane, Morton Guinan's Magnificent Mansion, Morton Guinan's Sword, Prismatic Spray, Project, Image, Regenerate, Resurrection, Simple, or Teleport. At this point, I don't know. Not quite sure what uh, I would like for Alondra at this point. Resurrection can definitely be useful, <laughs> you know. Um, but I don't know if Alondra would take that. What is more than kind in the sword? Might be something nice. You create a sword-shaped plane of force that hovers within range. It lasts for the duration. When the sword appears, you make a melee spell attack against a, a target of your choice within five feet of the sword. On a hit, the target takes 3d10 force damage until the spell hit. The spell ends. You can use a bonus action on each of your turn to move the sword up to 20 feet and uh, repeat this attack. It's a 7th level magical sword, but like, I think clerics get something very similar <laughs> as a level 2 spell, is it? Spiritual weapon? So... I don't think that's worth it. Uh, what could we go for in that case? What's the dream of the blue veil? I'm interested. Just curious about that. You and up to eight willing creatures within range fall unconscious for the spell's duration and experience visions of another world on the material plane. <laughs> wow. That's interesting. Huh. I don't think that's that seems very specific to a campaign setting going into a multiverse kind of uh, adventure. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure I would take it for Alondra. Possibly depending on the campaign, but I'm not gonna take it just like that. Uh, what could be interesting then? Force gauge. Force gauge maybe. What is that? An immobile, invisible, cube-shaped prison composed of magical forces springs into existence around an area you choose within range. A prison in the shape of a cage can be up to 20 feet on one side. Okay. When you cast a spell, any creature that is completely inside the cage's area is trapped. Creatures only partially within the area or those too large to fit inside the area are pushed away from the center of the area until they are completely outside the area. Okay. A creature inside the cage cannot leave it by non-magical means. If the creature tries to use teleportation or interplanar travel to leave the cage, it must first make a charisma saving throw. Oh, nice, nice, nice. The creature can exit the cage. 
On a failure, the creature cannot exit the cage and waste the use of a spell or effect. The cage also extends into the ethereal plane, blocking ethereal travel. That's really interesting. That might be very interesting for that, uh, once again, crowd control element of Elantra, I think. I like that for her. So, our level 13th spell is gonna be fourth cage. Yep, I'm going for that one. So, uh, okay, now all we have to do is roll because that's all we get at level 13. Yeah, an additional spell and a Song of Red now does the dance. So, let's check if we break 100 hit points. Five. No, unfortunately. So we're now at 98. But the good news is next level we have to reach 100. We cannot stay under 100 next level. So that's pretty nice. So level 14. Magical secrets once again. Let me know. Uh, level spells of level 7 or below what would be nice for Alondra across any spell list and we also get a feature on our Bard College Battle Magic at 14th level you have mastered the art of weaving, of weaving spell casting and weapon use into a single harmonious act when you use your action to cast a Bard spell you can make one weapon attack as a bonus action. You know, that sounds pretty nice. And we don't have many uh, bonus actions. We have a few, but not many. So battle magic can be interesting. And maybe that can uh, make us uh, retie with our uh, soldier background a little bit. So I quite like it. battle magic fantastic so magical secrets part college feature fantastic all right we can roll for our hit points how many we get <laughs> only four well, that's a bit sad, but it does bring us over a hundred, so yay, celebration! <laughs> One hundred and two hit points. That's pretty nice, that's pretty nice. Alright, we get to level 15 now. So first, our Bardic Inspiration goes up to level... Uh, <laughs> 2012 at level 15 so that's pretty nice we learn also a new spell of level 8 we're almost at the top of our magical prowess level 8 is pretty dang close to the best we can do so let's check only six choices here that's interesting okay so anti antipathy and sympathy antipathy sympathy dominate monster feeble mind clipness mind man mind blank and power word stun here there are two that seem very interesting to me clipness and uh, power word stun because if we can imagine that uh, as I thought a little bit uh, as I alluded to a little bit before Elandra becomes more and more of a diplomat uh, becoming more and more politically active in that kind of sense well it's not crazy to think that she might uh, use clipness in very useful ways so I kind of like that but then I get power words done 
I'm just gonna roll four hit points. Three. Okay, so 115 hit points now. 115. All right, pretty nice, pretty nice. Level 17, big one as our proficiency bonus. Uh, reaches its cap of plus six and now I have to change everything uh, oh actually not all the saving throws are changed but all of the skills will be so I'm just gonna clean this up a little bit once again by removing all of this make it a bit cleaner for the last few levels so strength plus three dexterity that becomes plus eight constitution plus two intelligence zero wisdom minus one and charisma plus eleven Fantastic. Okay, next. Uh, acrobatics. Acrobatics, that's going to be plus four. No, plus five. Plus five. Because now our check of all trades is plus three. Okay. Wisdom, so that's plus two. Plus three. Athletics. We have expertise, so 12 plus 3, 15. Ooh, that's getting high. Uh, deception plus 8. History plus 3. Insight plus 11. Intimidation plus 11, too. <laughs> Investigation plus three, medicine plus two, nature, nature, nature plus three, perception plus eleven, performance plus eleven, persuasion plus, oh boy, that's high, seventeen at this point. Wow. Plus three, plus uh, five, plus five, and plus two. All right. Uh, what else? What else? What else? So this is now nine plus nine. Okay. You know, a plus nine at level sixteen. I think that can hit. A few creatures that you might realistically encounter at that level so that's pretty good uh, initiative does go up to plus five. Oh, and these also go up the damage went up when we increased our strength all right I think that's it for our proficiency. Oh, well, passive wisdom I forgot to uh, get up, but that's now 21. Hey, we got from 11 to 21 during the course of the, the campaign. <laughs> it's pretty good in my opinion. <laughs> so, uh, that's proficiency bonus. Song of Rest now offers D12s pretty good and we learn a level nine spell that's pretty good we're at the top of our game now so we have one two three four five six seven choices seven choices foresight mass polymorph power word heal power word kill prismatic wall psychic scream and true polymorph and you know what true polymorph is pretty interesting <laughs> Oh 
Shades of Tripoli Morph are really interesting for sure. Inspiration at level 20 when you roll 
initiative and have no uses of bardic inspiration left, you regain one use. Which, you know, <laughs> not incredible, but it's pretty nice to know that you're always gonna have one bardic inspiration at the start of combat, whatever happens. So, we'll write it down. Our last feature that we get superior inspiration incredible and last thing we do for this character hit points well that's what we get going up to 169 hit points and that is it. That is the whole character sheet for Elantra at level 20. I hope you enjoyed this pretty long video. Uh, it was pretty fun for me to do. But I'm quite glad I used a character concept which I already created because at first I thought of making up uh, a new character from scratch and leveling it up to level 20 on the get-go, but I think that would have become a bit too long for my taste. Uh, having a character already established uh, is pretty nice. In this case, I feel like having Alondra having an idea of her backstory already and the choices that might fit with it. Uh, that was pretty cool to have. So we can officially make her a level 20 bard. And on that note, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. The story of this one soldier that allowed the, the nation to be warned could resonate with so many people. Maybe in, in a kind of Mulan way. <laughs> you know, that's not a that's something I quite like.